and welcome, I'm Liam, the user reviewer, Bodies by Car Seat Headrest is about fursuits and today we're going to be talking about the new Childish Gambino um, tracks as part of the Summer Pack, um, which isn't a really bad Call of Duty DLC, I know the name <laughs> sounds like one, but it, it definitely um, isn't. Happy birthday to Josh the Blogger, by the way, um, I'll link to his channel because he, he deserves, he, he's he's got a deeper voice than I do and I'm like five years older than him and he's just a very smart boy I wish I had his musical know-how when I was in his age but enough enough bragging and bigging him up what what do I make of these uh, Childish Gambino tracks and um, Childish Gambino being the the name that Donald Glover goes under when it comes to his musical output just a very talented man that gets up to a, a lot of a lot of stuff um, I admire his TV work the most I think but I do love um, or at least greatly admire his music. Uh, Camp is a very dated release, but because of the internet, I do think is a good, um, a good album. Um, does, I don't think I think it gets quite a lot of unnecessary um, hate from people because they think it thinks it's deeper than it actually is. But I think it's just it's it's just a good album with just some good rap songs on it. Awaken My Love is probably the strongest release, even if it is um, a very a very influenced album. Um, but I, I think some people are trying to say like it's just an upfront copy of that sound but there's just there's I, I, it's, just, it's just a good album and i feel like this just brings into a whole kind of argument about like copyright and how influenced can you be before it becomes like full-on plagiarism and should music even have the whole plagiarism argument this is something that i think eric taxon has uh, talked about a fair bit he's more informed on it but what do i make of the summer pack um, release and I think it's I think it's a fine uh, single and B side I guess I would say um, if if the song uh, feels like summer is meant to be the B side of this and um, I feel it's a bit topsy turvy um, back to front because I think um, it's a stronger track here um, I think with the first song it's definitely trying to go and this first song is called Summertime Magic by the way I should have said that um, it's definitely trying to go for that whole like Drake dancehall or not even because Drake's done dancehall but it's like it, because it's also been popularised by people like Drake like Justin Bieber probably hundreds of other people um, right now in the charts are really really going back to this sound that um, obviously just yeah like it's obviously a lot more popular now than probably it ever has been because of how more popular artists are starting to implement it I really don't think any of them have really done it in a way that is utterly impressive passion for it was a good song and um, possibly even like a pretty good song but i, I don't think that when uh Chish gambino's doing it here that it's really given any sort of like new light or anything that in terms of what he did on waking i love where he took this kind of like old kind of like uh kind of r&b solely funky kind of sound like he definitely took that and did something with it that paid homage kind of like what um Kind of like what what his face does, Bruno Mars, like what he does with them, um, like nearly every decade. I just think with the first song, yeah, it just doesn't really do anything all that fresh. And that, in terms of singing, this is definitely more like a, an Awake in My Love project, but it reminds me more of the Kawaii EP that came out between Because of Internet and Awake in My Love. I just think that yeah, it's 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 not a bad song by any means, but it's definitely one that could could border on being a bit forgettable. But feels like Summer is one that definitely feels like. It just feels like a, a more developed song. Like it doesn't feel like um, it's it's had it's had enough time to it. Um, it's definitely not in the same level of quality as this America. I don't think anyone did. I feel like this America obviously had a lot more time put into it, and it's obviously a lot more kind of like culturally significant. And it's going to go down as one of the best songs of the year, despite how popular it is and how many people might claim that it's been overplayed. It is still a magnificent song. Um, feels like summer definitely um, sees. Donald Glover singing, um, I don't want to say like it's a lot more improved, but it's definitely a lot more kind of convincing than the first song on here, and I just feel like I was getting quite like Channel Orange kind of vibes from this, and not to say that Channel Orange is like the defining um, R and B release that ever, like art that kind of like sums up R and B, but like that was that was the album this song kind of reminded me of, but it could easily be like like if, if Channel Orange was trying to go for a more kind of summery vibe, that that's what we could have, we probably would have got um, from it and um, even though there are songs on it that kind of like do feel like they could be like a summary kind of idea even if they are a bit kind of like subject matter a bit weird like uh, super rich kids and that um, but anyway anyway um, 
yeah, I feel like the second song here is just a lot, a lot better. It feels a lot more kind of. I, I wouldn't say original, even though there is like some obvious kind of like reference points for me. I just think that it's the one that when I listened to it, it was the one that I wanted to go back to, and the one that after this review and like two months down the line, somebody asked me, "Oh, what does that one sound like?" and "What does that one sound like?" I'll be able to say, "Oh, it feels like summer." I know that one. It's not the it's not the awful Weezer song from last year. Oh. Uh, um, but yeah, um, I, I think that's really all my thoughts on this, guys. Um, I would do like um, like a, a real time reaction here, but honestly, I, I'm not that interested in a guy to watch a real time. I'm just kind of like just sitting there, like that's 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 really all it. And I've not got the time or the computer power to just add some hyper like hyper colours and editing those and making the sound go louder or anything like that and yeah I'm not and I'm also not like Buffalo Staple that really gets into it I wish I had his energy but the water the water and the hydration can only help you help you so much but yeah guys there are my thoughts on on the summer pack um a fine release that I really don't think anyone's gonna remember all that much um, not because it's bad but just because yeah it doesn't really do anything overly great it's just kind of like it's kind of just like a nice kind of thing that you can imagine yourself like listening to if you're down at the beach or if it's just like a nice day and you go out your back garden and listen to it it's, it's that kind of release nothing that's gonna like blow out the water like this is america did but not one i would i would say is bad and um, the worst thing i could say is just kind of meh um but yeah guys thank you for watching and um, let me know what you guys are thinking if you've listened to it if not Go listen to it and then come back and let me know what you think. But yeah, as always guys, thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay hydrated.